This is a cigarette. But you already knew that, along with many of the terrible health effects that smoking causes. However, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 21.5% of adult men and 17.3% of adult women smoked in the United States in 2010. It would seem that the frightening public service announcements and those very scary grade school presentations aren't doing much good in keeping the population smoke-free. Well, recently, scientists have discovered an aspect of human biology that might provide the biggest motivation for cigarette abstinence yet. It comes from an emerging field called epigenetics. Epigenetics is basically the nurture side of the nature versus nurture phenomenon. Scientists in this field are trying to figure out how aspects other than our DNA, especially our environment, can affect our gene expression, or which pieces of our DNA actually get used to make proteins, which build up our bodies. That process, for example, is how cells differentiate. They go from being stem cells that have the potential to be any kind of cell, to becoming blood cells or skin cells or neurons by shutting down the parts of the genome that they don't need. This usually occurs through chemical tags placed on DNA strands or on histones, which are the proteins that DNA wraps itself around. These chemical tags, which are most commonly methyl or acetyl groups, serve as on-off switches for the genes on which they're placed. That's why our experiences, especially while in the womb and in early childhood, which is when we develop the most, affects who we are for the rest of our lives. But the epigenome can be altered later on as well. It was reported at the 35th Congress of the European Society for Medical Oncology in 2010 that studies that year had shown that abnormal methylation of a gene that serves to suppress tumors is linked to cigarette smoking. In other words, methyl tags turned off the gene that keeps tumors from happening in the DNA of smokers. One particular study, led by Dr. Yuk Ting Ma, looked at the epigenome of healthy young women. Some of them were smokers, and some of them weren't. The scientists were studying a gene called P16, which is a tumor suppressor. They found that women who smoked while participating in the study were up to 3.67 times more likely to have their P16 gene methylated than those who didn't smoke. In other words, the smokers were less protected against tumors. Similar epigenetic changes can occur through other unhealthy habits, like drinking, maintaining a sugary and fat-filled diet, and breathing in a lot of polluted air. These changes can be passed on to offspring because the methylation can happen in our sex cells, sperm in men and eggs in women, changing the epigenetic makeup of our offspring. So think about the children you might have one day. Think about the children they'll have, and the children they'll have. Your habits right now will affect their health. Every cigarette you light doesn't just hurt you. It hurts the family members that you haven't even met yet.